Hey, this is Steven from Legit PC, and uh, today we're going to look at Shadow Play. So, uh, Shadow Play is this button on NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Up here to the top right, you click on Shadow Play, and uh, there is your box. So, here we have it on, uh, it's off, but it's in beta. So, Shadow Play is for NVIDIA cards that are running Kepler architecture chips on them. So, that would be the 600 series and the 700 series desktop GPUs. Now, I'm running a 660 Ti, so mine works, and you have to have the, the, um, a driver of a number 331.40, and I believe that driver came out the 28th of last month, and uh, anything after that comes with Shadowplay, and now every, other dri and every driver that they have, they could update Shadowplay through that. So let's go ahead and uh, flip the switch on. All right, so what is Shadow Shadowplay? Shadowplay is using a H.264 encoder that's built into your NVIDIA card. You don't need any external card, any capture card, anything like that. And it's built to capture uh, your games. So let's go ahead and go over some of the options here. So there's two different modes. There's called uh, Shadow and Manual Mode. Manual Mode is where you, you, ca you press a key set um, and then it starts up your manual mode, just like any other thing, even like my capture card. The other way is if you hit another another key binding, and it records however many minutes you have set here. So even though the time already passed, your video card is still capturing that data with no drop in frame rate, no drop in performance out of your GPU or CPU. Very low CPU mode be, uh, load because of that onboard.2 H.264 encoder that's on your GPU that isn't usually used, but in this case you you do use it. I believe originally that encoder is built to do video encoding, accelerated hardware encoding. Anyways, so we're gonna go uh, shadow and manual. So you could have it just shadow or just manual, and then I'll show you how to uh, to set these key uh, these uh, these key presses or um, you know your bindings. So here is the shadow time. This is if you hit that different key button, it'll record all that time previously. So if you have it for 20 minutes, it'll record all of that 20 minutes. And here you have the slider. You can slide back and forth. So here I got 11 minutes. And here's the quality. The big problem that I have with the quality is that medium is around 20 megabytes per second. And you could tell if you do the math here. It's a uh, it's 20 megabytes per second. Um, if if you go back to one minute, you'll see. Right, one minute divided by 60. Right, 60 seconds in a minute, and then you'll get how however much bit rate this is. Now, and it's around like 25. So. Uh, high, if you look at high, high is almost 40. Sorry, it's like, it's like 55, no, 50, 56, 57, high 50s, which is really, really high bit rate. Um, so right now you don't have the option to, to choose what bit rate you want because for me, medium is too low. I usually record at 30 megabytes, uh, megabits per second and high is way too high at, at almost 60 megabits per second. So I, you either have to down decompress and then your original origin file will be too big or you have to you know go with the lower quality, which kind of sucks. But unlike any other capture card, even my capture card that I have, the Avery Media Live Gamer HD, it's at 60 frames per second. My Live Gamer HD can only record 1080p at 60 frames per second using an H.264 encoder. So... And then uh, you have uh, in-game audio, whether you want it on or off, etc. So let's go ahead and look at those key bindings. So I would highly suggest this keyboard binding of Alt Number Pad 0 and Alt Number Pad 1. So Manual is Alt Number Pad 0 and um, Shadow is Alt Number Pad 1. And here you could set the overlay, which you'll see in a second. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into a game. I'll jump into uh, Call of Duty because that is the quickest thing to... Uh, to get going. Let me start up Steam really quick. Alright, so we are back. We are now in uh, Call of Duty. And something I didn't mention yet uh, that is definitely worth noting is that as you saw there, there is currently no upload 
um, option. There is currently no streaming option. Uh, Nvidia said that they will in um, include a streaming option to Twitch, one touch streaming option, sort of like my uh, capture card. Um, and then hopefully they also add art, uh, RTMP protocol, uh, custom protocols to where you could stream up to YouTube, which is what I do. I don't twit I don't stream to Twitch too much anymore. Anyways, so now I'm recording off my capture card, and down here at the bottom right is my overlay. That's why you can see my overlay in my in the actual footage recorded from Shadowplay. You will not see the overlay, but in this case, I'm using my capture card over the top. So you will see the overlay. So when you hit, for me, when I hit Alt Number Pad Zero, which is manual, there will be a green circle in the center, and when I hit Alt Number Pad One, it'll turn yellow, which is Shadow Play, which records everything from the last 11 minutes. So um, I, I usually use manual mode because that's usually what I use with my capture card. And uh, it's alt number pad one, zero to turn it on, turn it on, and alt number pad zero to turn it off, and then the green dot goes away. So let's go ahead and uh, find a random uh, game to play online. And then you could watch uh, my frames per second at the top left. Uh, that's my X fire overlay. Oop, wrong key. Sorry about that. Alright, you can see we're staying pretty much at 90, 91. Alright, there we go. Good kill. Okay, so let's go downstairs here. Let's get ready to uh, do some capture after I kill this guy. Alright, so now I'm gonna go and hit Alt Number Pad Zero and be watching my frame rate here. I'm at 91, Alt Number Pad Zero, and my green light turns on. And now, after this, uh, I'm still gonna be using my capture card as the video source, so you could see, but I'm not going under 91. You know, it's not causing any drop. And remember, I'm capturing from two places at once I'm capturing from my capture card as well as Shadow Play at the same time. And uh, now that you saw that, let me switch it off, and then I'll do an overlay of some quality, and I'll also have a full quality video of like 15 minutes of Call of Duty and Battlefield 4 gameplay of the high shadow play quality for your enjoyment in 60 frames per second at, you know, s almost 60 mega uh, megabits per second. So let, I'll show you what it looks like turned off. You hit Alt-0, turns it off, green light turns a different color, and then saves. And then turns off and then now you're back to gaming no change same frame rate same everything and then if you want you could hit alt number pad one and there's your shadow time you see the yellow and it just captures and then you're done and that's shadow play so now um i'll do like maybe five minutes of quality and then we'll uh we'll finish off that and uh i'll have another video of just just gameplay, no no voiceover, maybe like 15 minutes of shadow play quality test for you guys to check all that. It Check it out with all of its beauty. And uh, yeah, I would suggest you guys try it. It's free for anybody with a uh, NVIDIA card. And uh, it's definitely a, a thumbs up for me, even though I have a capture card. Hopefully I don't need to use that anymore when they get streaming quality enabled. And I'll just use that instead. Alright, so I'm gonna stop the uh, the capture card and um, start the start the the capture using shadow play and put that in the video. So we're gonna turn it on and here goes the capture cards off. So now you guys are looking through um, shadow uh, shadow play. So very very smooth, frame rate still the same. Friendly SATCOM active.
Actually, the, the game got some pretty good updates to where I'm not dropping frame rate as much anymore. I'm staying pretty steady at 91 frames. Even though this is definitely not on its highest, this game's definitely got some better stability since I last played it. I'm using the Vepper, by the way. So yeah, just a little bit of recording here, and then I'll go ahead and uh, go on to um, the a 15 minute vid of um, maybe like uh, some Battlefield 4 gameplay as well as some Call of Duty gameplay. So you guys could really see what uh, what Shadow Play could do in high mode, all out. So yeah, so th this is probably going to be the end of this video. So this has been the review. This has been Steven from Legit PC. And this is my review of uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play, which is an extension off NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And uh, it's free for anybody with a Kepler card, which is a 600 series and a 700 series. And uh, gives you the quality of uh, capture that you wouldn't even find in a $300 capture card. And uh, definitely updates more often with NVIDIA than other capture card companies. And uh, I would check it out. It's, for, it's free for any of the users, and I highly recommend it. So this has been Steam from Legit PC. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe for other videos like it, and take it easy.